All right, well, hello, my fellow Virgos. Let's tap in. We're going to be doing a little different reading today. See who is um, called upon your energy the most, who's thinking upon your energy the most. When I was getting the cards. I was shuffling. There's a lot of outside um, energy around you, a lot of outside uh, energy pulling on you, wanting to know. It's almost like somebody may have, I don't know here, they're just like wanting to know something. So let's see what this person, who this person is. Who is the energy thinking of Virgo the most? Who is the energy thinking of Virgo the most? Spirit guides. Who is the who is the person thinking of Virgo the most? All right. Uh, I forgot to do my little thing. Um, I've already shoved the cards and you already know what it is. So let's just begin. If you don't know what it is, leave it for the ones who do. I'd like to thank everybody for those likes, comments, subscribes, booking those personal readings and just being here with me. All right, let's celebrate this energy. Who's thinking of you the most? Who's thinking of you the most, Virgo? Okay, we have Arrow, Weeping Willow, and Tiger. Okay, so this first one that came out was the Arrow. You're on the right path regarding some aspect in your life. You are on the right path regarding some aspect in your life. Somebody feels like they're doing the right thing right now. Um, They're doing the right thing right now. They're trying to keep their life in balance, trying to keep their... Uh, life their finances their work life and balance here so they feel like moving forward they're doing the right thing in in life right now but it's causing sorrow for this person okay or your family or you virgo somebody's going through some type of sorrow energy weeping willow um they feel like they're doing the right thing to keep their life in balance but it hurts their feelings all right um doing something risky and taking a chance this is something this person didn't normally do okay um it's almost like what they're doing is a risk. They're taking a risk here, uh, Virgo. Uh, whatever they're doing, we'll figure that out. <laughs> um, but they're doing a risk. They think what they're doing is risky, but they know it's the right thing to do in their life right now to keep themselves in balance, even if it causes them sorrow, okay? Even if it causes them heartbreak. Who is this energy? Who is this energy thinking of Virgo the most? Who is this energy thinking of Virgo the most? We got two W's here, three W's, weeping, willow, um, W could be significant, okay, secrets and concentration, concentration, um, where the game where you say an animal, concentrate y'all remember the concentration game um you play with a partner i'm sorry this is way off topic but as soon as i saw that concentration energy concentration the, the game concentration where you would um uh, pick animals you can only say animals you can only say uh clothing you can only say food fruits um you have to concentrate on a category and only say that category and whoever runs out of the category first uh, they win or something. I don't know why that is significant, but somebody could be playing games here. Is what I'm getting at from that concentration games. Um, they're concentrating their energy um, somewhere else, or concentrating their energy on something. It's almost like to play games with you. Um, anyways, we got secrets here. All right. Um, with the secret energy, we have Scorpio. So somebody's definitely in their feelings. Okay, with the Scorpio energy. Um, what this card is giving me a lot of secrets okay we don't know what animal this is there's a lot of other things around that are symbols that we don't know what they are so i feel like this person is doing a lot of things that you don't know virgo going towards a lot of things that you don't know having a lot of secrets about things that you don't know mm. and that's why they're needing to keep their life in balance here okay with the concentration we have um what is that what is that is that libra energy um, I'm sorry, y'all. They put different symbols at the bottom of the card, and I haven't learned them all yet, but I'm pretty sure that is Libra energy. We have 8 and 3. 8 and 3 could be significant. 38. 83. Who's this person thinking of Virgo the most? Um, inheritance. Okay. And then we have generosity. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it there. 
for the inheritance card also what i was getting with the spider web and the star here um it's almost like somebody wants to trap you in their web trap you with their games trap a star um i don't know what that is okay and then we have more scorpio energy with inheritance here you could have inherited something somebody could have inherited something family matters family sorrows this could have been somebody you had a family with you could have inherited their dna okay um type energy whether that's mother father or lover okay generosity and resourcefulness okay let's see how this plays out what are these secrets here aggressive came out immediately somebody's keeping a secret that they're mad keeping their feelings secret out as soon as i felt this scorpio card full of secrets i knew somebody was in their motherfucking feelings okay somebody is in their feelings over you okay they're in their feelings deeply they could be mad they could be aggressive they could be sad they could be crying here this aggressive energy could be in any aspect whether that's happy um excessive anything concentration forgotten memories somebody's somebody is concentrating on the memories all right i'm getting that song memories don't feel like people do and it's life is dun -dun -dun, dun -dun 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 -dun. even if it's good or bad it's the memories that we had all right so somebody's definitely having concentrating on those memories concentrating on you even though they may have done something here inheritance taking a risk inheritance okay we got back with x uh, okay back with x type energy kiss my ass to the haters at the bottom watch your back up top all right let's hop in let's hop right on in cha okay aggressive energy and then this purple deck is going to do me sufficiently um tell me about these secrets these secrets this person may be holding from virgo these secrets this person may be holding these secrets aggressive secrets secrets that are making them mad i'm hearing you could be telling people secrets somebody can feel like you are spreading their secrets you said something about them that made them mad that made them aggressive okay we got the hermit in the seven of swords wow right off the back this is somebody who lied to you who betrayed you who deceived you okay they're definitely mad at the the hermit no 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 no. they think the hermit is lying on them okay they think you're lying on them okay they think that you're deceiving them they think that you have a lot of secrets that's making them aggressive this is making them angry virgo with the hermit card here you could have been getting knowledge all right secret energy all right you could be taps in you could be intuitive you could be listening to your intuition in such a way where you can hear see and feel things about people and just know you have that knowing you already know what it is right um and this is this is making somebody mad they don't like that you know what it is they don't like what that you know what they're up to they don't like uh 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 that you can pull their cards like this, Virgo. Like you can pull their cards like this here. And this is pushing them to do something risky, to take a chance to do the opposite of what you think they'll do. Um, is what it's giving me. It's, it's, it's giving me that they're, they're bad that you know these secrets about them. They're mad that you're spreading secrets about them. They're mad that you're deceiving them. Somebody feels betrayed by you. Feel like that you're deceiving them, that you're getting away with something, that you're acting strategic in some type of way. Okay and they mad about it tell me about this tell me about this uh the hermit and the seven of swords they think you lying they think you big capping they think uh you're betraying them somebody thinks that they're doing everything in their power to be on the right path to keep their life in balance and virgo you ain't with it um almost like you're not going along with it um or they thought that you were and that you were just deceiving them to use them to betray them oh yeah that's the four of cups the two of cups and then we have the five of pinnacles crossing here okay 
with the four of cups y'all i've been getting real hot and cold okay real hot and then when i open up the door i get real cold so some of these real hot and cold with their feelings they don't know what to do they're real back and forth here um that could just be me right <laughs> um but with the hermit the seven of swords the four of cups the two of cups Virgo, they feel like you deceived them so they're withdrawing from this partnership here and with the five of the pinnacles what did i say about the hot and cold it's in crossing they don't know if they should leave you out in the colds um fully yet if they should really 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 leave you out or if they should leave you out for a period of time here until they can get their life in balance somebody is on the fence okay they're on the fence watching here like a cat on a fence all right but they they see that you betrayed them they feel that you betrayed them so this is getting them to withdraw somebody may have ghosted you okay <laughs> uh somebody may have not been talking to you not being they, they pull back their communication okay um they feel like you betrayed them and missed out on the opportunity to be in a union with them okay 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 um somebody feels um virgo that they were doing everything in the right mind they were doing everything in their right mind they feel like they were doing everything right this is giving me narcissistic energy just a little bit, okay? I'm not going to... We'll pull for that. We'll pull glow bay at the end, see if narcissists coming out. But uh, that's giving me a little... That's, that's giving me a little... A little sprinkle of narcissists. Um, because they feel like they did everything right here. They feel like they did everything right in their power. Um, They did no wrong here. They were just trying to keep their life in, in balance after taking some risk, after doing something risky. They were just trying to keep it all together somebody here was trying to offer you something offer you their cup because the four of cups and the two of cups is here and to miss out on the opportunity it has to be offered right so they feel like you betrayed uh their offer that they were giving you they feel like you missed out on <laughs> on a two of cups relationship on a, on a on a partnership on a union that would have been based off of mutual respect here virgo and they're on the fence here with the five of pentacles they're on the fence if they should just lead us out in the cold completely or just for the time being, okay? Yes, sir. Let's see how this plays out. Forgotten memories. Memories don't fade like people do. Even when they're good and bad. Hey, it's the memories that we had, all right? They still are caught up in the memories. Um concentration that's that's what they concentrating on even though they're withdrawing from you mm, i don't know how any of those landed so i don't know how to take that but there's one that flipped over here and i'm gonna take that one to a pinnacle's balance yeah they're trying to adapt um they're trying to adapt to the things that's going on right now because i feel like they did something risky they're taking a chance by leaving you out in the cold or uh uh, uh by deciding to withdraw from you in some type of way here okay um with this concentration let's play concentration no repeats or or hesitation i'll go first if you go last category is memories all right and they pull it out their motherfucking <laughs> okay okay somebody playing games out here um they're playing games with themselves honestly um, just like I played that game by myself here. You gotta listen to all of this is download, y'all. Um But and again with the, the two hand game, the two hand uh pinnacle back and forth. Okay, keeping life in balance scales here, Libra energy. Um, anyways, this concentration they all they can concentrate on is you. Periods. The good and bad memories. Um, everything that happened, even though they're trying to leave you out in the cold, all they can concentrate on is you. Two of Pentacles, and they're trying to adapt now. Um, they're trying to uh, uh, balance this. They're trying to balance their decision. They're trying to adapt to what, 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 what they decided to do and what, what happened here. Even with the good or bad memories, they know they got to move on. They know they got to do something to keep their life in balance, Virgo, because they're just they're going crazy. Aggressive energy and concentration. Yes, somebody is going crazy. Okay, um, what they're concentrating on is making them mad. Okay, they could be they could be having angry outbursts to other people and got shit to do with this. Taking their anger out on other people that has nothing to do with this, Virgo. Um, all right, let's see what this is. Two of Pentacles energy. Okay, okay. 
uh, two of pentacles paired with a four of pentacles yeah they're trying to adapt by holding it together holding it all in. four of pentacles energy they're trying to um they're trying to hold in and control their emotions okay their concentration what they're concentrating on the memories the sorrow mm. damn okay this is giving me somebody like really deeply in their feelings bro they may actually have um feelings for you okay the real feelings for you that they have to fight that they have to keep under control that they have to keep to themselves there's these memories and things that they're concentrating on that they have to adapt to hold in to to, to, to take control over because i feel like they're having angry outbursts towards other people because of you they're having angry outbursts they're having uh, a sad outburst they're having some type of energy that they need to uh, keep balanced all right excuse my stuffy nose excuse my stuffy nose okay we have the eight of swords in the world card here okay but the eight of swords somebody's trying to take control yeah lovers at the bottom definitely lovers energy definitely a lover virgo um could also be gemini um with the, the eight of swords energy somebody is feeling restricted okay they have this victim mentality the world card that they're trying to end yeah the concentration that's all their mind can concentrate on is you and how they feel victimized by you because they feel like they did everything right and they power to keep things in balance with you this is uh, this is somebody here Ooh, yeah, i don't i don't like it um <laughs> Honestly, because let me get in my feelings a little bit. Um, there is there is no way somebody could do everything in their power to make something work and it don't work. Right? Unless it's not meant to work. Unless there was like something that was unforgivable. Unless you did something where somebody doesn't want it to work. Okay? So the fact that this person is like and this victim mentality and all they can concentrate is on you and all the mem and memories of good and bad. There was bad motherfucking memories here. There was bad things that happened here. And just because you can get over those bad things and, 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 and feel like you were doing the right thing to keep it in track doesn't mean that Virgo forgave you. Doesn't mean for, that Virgo has gotten over those things. Doesn't mean you hurt Virgo any less because you are trying to do everything in your power now to fix things, right? Okay, let me pull my feelings up out of it. Um, but with the the eight of with the eight of swords and the world card here, yeah, they're trying to get out of this um, this stuck mentality. I'm not gonna say victim mentality. I don't feel like they're a victim of anything. I don't think like um, much has happened to this person other than emotions right now. Um, but with the world card, they're trying to end out this cycle. They want it to end. They want it to go away. They want to stop concentrating on the memories, the good and bad. They want to stop concentrating on you. They don't want to uh, live out their whole lives with all these secrets they're holding in about you. Um, and all this pain and this, this, these memories. They don't want to hold on to it. They don't want to keep it going. Virgo, one more for this energy. Memories don't stay like people do. That's gonna be up the it's gonna have to be the, the title. Concentrating on memories. Alright, two of pinnacles, the four of pinnacles, the eight of swords, and the world's card. What's the last card here for the Virgos? The energy thing of the Virgo the most. Wrap this little segment up, Spirit. What are they gonna do after the world's card? way too many just one card please what are they gonna do after the world card all right i'll take it the ace okay <clears throat> mm -hmm. the ace of wands of two and wands of three pinnacles ain't this about a bitch okay i'm about to flip the table i'm about to flip the table because they need this is what i mean by playing games somebody, <laughs> somebody playing games with themselves at this point um because they know they know that they're trying to end out um, concentrating on you. They're, they know they're trying to end out obsessing over you. But with the Ace of Wands, the Two of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles, child, after this world, after this ending of what they think that they're doing here, um, Ace of Wands, there's something that's going to spark them to want to come towards you and work with you in the future. So it's like 
It's like somebody is actually playing games with themselves. I feel like they have to in order to keep their life in balance. They have to in order to get away from this sorrow in the present moment right now, Virgo. But they know in the back of their mind they plan on working with you. Mm -hmm. Yes, child. This is what I mean by playing games by themselves because i don't feel like the virgos is i don't i don't i'm not gonna speculate but i don't know how i feel and if somebody was playing games with me um i would move on right i would uh play them same games right back it's it's giving me two can play them games okay two can play those games okay <laughs> okay moving on to the next section back with an x i'm gonna pull a different deck here i got a lot of energy out i'm gonna make sure um, I get the correct message. Back with X energy and inheritance. Yeah, they could have got back with an X. Um, they could have had some type of inheritance from this X. It was giving me uh, uh, passing DNA. Um, the passing on of energy. Uh, how kisses and sex and being intimate with somebody is passing on your DNA. Is passing on um, stuff you're inheriting. Uh, Whoops, so you're you're inheriting. Um, action the way that they are the way that they move you're inheriting things from somebody and this person may have gotten back with an ex because they want to play games here at Virgo um only way to not concentrate on you is to get some nookie somewhere else only way to uh, not concentrate on you is to do something here inheritance back with ex energy what's this what's this what's this uh, the full card the ace of swords and the emperor mm. Yeah, somebody started over with an ex. Could be an Aries. All right, the full card talks about new beginnings. And this is back with ex energy. Somebody they inherited something with. They could have had a child by this person. Um, they could have a family with this person. With the Ace of Swords, they're having a break. They have some type of new idea. They're, they're, they're having success with their ex again. Excuse me. And then we have the Emperor energy. They feel like starting over with their ass, ex. Who? With their ass. <laughs> their ex can have a nice ass, right? Um, they can be real thick, real, real sticky, thicky, okay? Okay, my. Look, and it's J Lo. <laughs> it's J Lo. I can't make it up. Okay, they, they actually have a little J-Lo body, okay? Um, they can be a little on a thickish side, thick plumbing, thick plumbing yum, okay? Just just the type of nookie to get their concentration off of you, right? Just, just the type of good good that got that concentration off of you. Um, but yeah, they started over uh, with the Ace of Swords and the Emperor. This could <laughs> It's making them feel like a man again. All right, this is making them feel like they're in control again. <laughs> this is making them feel like a father. This is making them feel like a masculine energy. Their ex makes them feel masculine, okay? Their ex makes them feel like they have power over them. Their ex feel, makes them feel like they have control, a foothold, a seat. They respect them. So it's almost like, Virgo, you didn't respect this person. <laughs> Somebody feels like you didn't respect them as the man that they are. You didn't you didn't look at them as how they wanted you to perceive them. So they went back to somebody who did. <laughs> okay. They went back to an energy, um, a little thickum stickum. A little thickum stickum that makes them feel all masculine, that makes them feel like they have control, that makes them feel good here. Virgo, but as you can see, um, baby girl got her eyes closed, fully indulged in this in this kiss. But the, look at his concentration. I can't make this up. Let's play concentration. No repeats or hesitation. This person is repeating and hesitating, and <laughs> they're trying to focus on one category, and their concentration is off. They got stick of egg in their face. Trying to, trying, to, trying to bring back that spark, trying to bring back that clarity of their masculine energy, trying to make them feel good, hooded, and exciting again. Virgo, after you. So they're doing something risky. Yeah, they're taking a chance. They got to get their masculine energy back. 
like they feel powerful again because i feel like when dealing with you you may have taken them off their throne a little bit okay you may have said some things this is what i'm getting with the hermit card of the seven of swords okay you may have said some things <laughs> expose this person you may have been able to read them like a book um uh, <laughs> Uh, you may have you may have read them like a book and this took them out of their masculine energy this took them out of their authority position energy this made them feel like you didn't respect them point play period and you know who do respect them they stick them stick them x okay <laughs> shoddy with a big old booty oh i just heard big old coochie um anyway <laughs> let me let me move on um no oh. Yeah, we got the Seven of Cups and a whole lot of other cards that wanted to pop up, but I'm only taking the Seven of Cups because um, this person got a lot of energy, um, a lot of things they want to say to you, a lot of concentration, a lot of memories, a lot of feelings, and it's too much. It's too much. All right. Because we got the cups here about how they feel about you. You made them feel in their head, and now they're going towards different options. All right. Um, the Emperor and the Seven of Cups, yeah, they're, they're exploring their love options and mulling over decisions, or this is an illusion. <laughs> what did I tell you about playing games with themselves? Playing games with themselves. All right, so somebody started over with an ex here to get their masculine energy back, to get their they vitality back, to get them back feeling the way they want to feel here. And with the Seven of Cups, this is an illusion. Um, they make, they ex make them feel uh, this illusion. <laughs> They ex make them feel like they have this dominant power, this structure over somebody's life because maybe their ex is in a position where they're lower. And you feel me? They will submit and they will make them feel as if uh, they have that illusion of authority over them. But I feel like even this ex, this illusion for the ex too. They, the ex, I don't even know what it is. The bitch just fall in line for some, for some whatever, for some money, for some love, for some attention, whatever. Okay? Um... I'm not liking this energy. All right. I'm, <laughs> I'm not liking the energy. Um, at all. <laughs> at all. Where'd that card go? Oh, it went all the way over here. Let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. We got the Four of Cups again. Cup, 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 cup. Energy. All right. Okay. Um this illusion to make them feel like they have a withdrawn um or to make you feel like you missed out an opportunity oh lord lord i'm sorry about my burps y'all indigestion um but somebody's going towards their ex here to cast this illusion towards you that you missed out like all right if, if you don't want me other people will like they <laughs> You may have capped on this person and told them that nobody wanted them. Um, you may have capped on this person, uh, read them like a book, told them you single and old and nobody wants you type of energy. That's what I'm getting. Like this person took everything you said as like an insult. So you could have been telling this person about themselves. Like, for instance, you could have told this person if everybody feels a certain way about you, then maybe there's something wrong with you. Have you ever thought of that? And this person is like, oh, they think I'm old, ugly, and and dumb, and can't and can't get nobody, and 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 I ain't masculine enough. My dick ain't good enough. My my money ain't good enough to have anybody good. So I'm gonna show Virgo. <laughs> That's even proving the Virgos even more right, sir. Like you just proving the Virgos right by giving back with your stick of egg of X. Okay, think of Egos, think of X, okay? Nobody really cares. You're casting your own illusion, playing these games of concentration by yourself. All right, and that is me and my feelings all the way. Um, <laughs> all the way here, Justice card. Because if somebody actually did this towards you, Virgo, if somebody got back with their ex to cast the illusion that you missed out on the opportunity, you'd be like, all right, let your ex have it. Like, you'd be like, you'd be like, okay? <laughs> you'd be like, I ain't missing out. I didn't want you anyway. Um, so that on that Virgo, look in the Empress. He had the make. <laughs> Sun card at the bottom. Somebody want to make you feel like you missed out on greatness. <laughs> I'm so glad I did this reading. This was just the laugh I needed. 
to keep me going through today. All right, this was the laugh I needed. Okay, somebody wants to make you feel like you missed out on an opportunity with greatness. You missed out on the opportunity of abundance, Virgo. We could have been abundant. We, we, you could have been in this abundant energy with me. You could have been uh, 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 getting everything you'll need, all your needs taken care of. Somebody really wants to make you feel like they was catering to you, like they spoiled you. Um, uh, 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 they, like, they feel like they spoiled you. Like this is what I'm getting from the car. They feel like they spoiled you. They feel like um, they been, I want to cater to you. They feel like they cater to you and they're giving this catering energy back to an ex to make you feel like you missed out on this catering energy. You missed out on sitting on a throne. You missed out on, on, on being pampered by me, <laughs> Virgo. This is it's cracking me up, to be honest, because y'all, let's see how the Virgo feel, okay? <laughs> let, let me get a different deck, different energy, okay? Oh, let me get a look. Look, do I mean after ask how Virgo feels? Single and abundant back in their energy after they made this choice with this person. They think they bring in towers into this Virgo stability. But Virgo over here, they think they, they think withdrawing their love will cause disappointment and take an action on, on someone else treating somebody else like an imprint would in, would it influence the Virgo like they masculine, like they missed out on the throne. <laughs> I can't make it up, y'all. And that, all these decks are pre-shuffled. So um, let's just see how Virgo feels. How does Virgo feel about this person? Mm-hmm. 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 How does Virgo feel about this person? And y'all better not be in your feelings. I'm going to flip this table. Don't let this person get you in your feelings, okay? I'm going to flip the table. Don't let this person get you in your feelings. Um, cause they over here concentrating on you trying to put up a, a percolate. I, I don't know what percolate mean. Did it that percolate? Did it that percolate? I don't know what that means. Perpetrate is what I'm trying to say. They over here perpetrating like they happy with somebody else. Seven of cups. How does Virgo feel about this person? Seven of cups. How does Virgo feel about this person? Seven of cups and the sun card. I'm getting, I can see clearly now the rain is gone, okay? The six of swords, oh, Lord Jesus, this is what I mean. They playing games with themselves. They playing games with themselves here. Because, baby, how Virgo is feeling on the seven of cups, you're bowling over your options that will bring you happiness, okay? You are looking at the different options here. You are... Um, the seven of cups here, you could be feeling like this is an illusion, the game that they're playing. Okay. You could be feeling the illusion being cast by this person. Um, and with the sun card here, you're positive. You have clarity and positivity and happiness that you are transforming. I feel like you, you see the, the illusion that they're doing. And instead of, uh, indulging in it, instead of, uh, uh letting them fuck with you. You are moving towards your happiness. You are deciding to be happy and transform after some type of painful ending here. Or you are fighting the painful ending. This person is trying to cause you. Yeah, they thought that they, they would cause you pain here. <laughs> they, they thought they would get you in your feelings. They thought you, they thought you would be crying over them. They thought that uh, you would come running back. Um, texting that, that uh, switching the roads would make you come after them. They think like this is a twin flame type of thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, this was a laugh I needed. They think this was like a twin flame situation. Like if they stop being a chaser, um, that and become the runner, that you'll become the chaser. But in reality, they stop being the chaser, and you were like, oh look, this is my opportunity to transform. Okay. <laughs> This is my opportunity to, to move into calmer water. This is my opportunity to be positive and happy and, and, and move into calmer water here. And the Ten of Swords energy, somebody wanted you to have uh, feel pain from this energy. Somebody wanted to betray you, make you feel lost, make you feel like these deep wounds. But the Five of Swords is here, Virgo. You ain't feeling that shit, okay? Uh, this painful ending is not conflicting, is not... Is not competing with your transformation. Is not competing with your energy. Is not competing with what you got on. All right. 
type of energy here. Somebody wanted to do this here um, to you, Virgo, uh, to cause a betrayal, to make you feel like you lost. Um, and it ain't what it is, and it isn't going to be what, it at, what they think it is. With the Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords, you are fighting, okay? Mm. Also, I just got the download that them choosing this option made it clear that you need to transform, that they're trying to betray you. But instead of letting them betray you, that you want to fight uh, this five of pentacles energy. What did I say about leaving you out in the cold? Okay, they're, they're, they're conflicted about leaving you out in the cold. You're going to fight this uh, depression mentality, this depression energy that this person was trying to cast on you. Because I see, I he I've heard it before. I can see clearly now the rain is going. You can see clearly what this person is doing. You can see clearly through their ego. You can see clearly through their shadow side. And you can see clearly through the illusions that they do on by giving back what they ask. So I feel like you are uh, trying to push more positivity. You are going and choosing positivity, okay? Somebody woke up and chose violence. You woke up and chose positivity, okay? You woke up and, and decided to transform this and not allow this person to betray you and cause a loss here, but actually fight the mentality that they thought they were putting you in by leaving you out in the cold. So you're two steps ahead of this person and they 10 steps behind. Uh, make it make sense that's what it is uh -huh. they're 10 steps behind because they're getting back with a ex indulging in nasty dirty energy all while concentrating on you knowing they're playing games with themselves um okay, virgo with the five of wands the king of pentacles and the lovers you are already fighting this love option anyways like i said you were saying things to this person like uh, <laughs> You're saying the things to this person like, I don't want you anyways. All you give me is big and disappointment, okay? Um, let on that, Virgo. I feel um, before this even happened, you were fighting and having uh, problems with this person and having problems with them being your lover in the first place. So you're choosing happiness. You're choosing to fight the illusion that they're trying to put you in. And you're choosing to boss up and to let them let them play games by themselves, okay? Now let that energy. Stay in that energy. Don't let anybody um, play games with you and make you a chaser. Don't chase after anybody, baby. Don't go back to an ex, okay? Boss up over there and be showing what they missed out on and tell them how fun with your ex. Um, stick them, egg them. <laughs> Take them, stick them, ick them over here, okay? Icky Vicky. Ooh. I don't know why I'm getting V names. Villain. Valerie. Vicky. Nikki. All right? Oh, I don't care. <laughs> but somebody call it Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Minnie. Many. <laughs> Somebody's name could be many, but they think. <laughs> you know them. <laughs> you know them big girls that get themselves uh, dainty names. <laughs> That's the type of energy I'm getting. Anyways, um, I'm gonna end this on out. I want to see about this person though, no, real quick. Uh, tell me about the person who is thinking of Virgo the most. We said we had to ask Globe if they had narcissists, so tell me about this energy that's thinking of Virgo the most. Tell me about this energy that is thinking of Virgo the most. Mm. Sagittarius energy is shady as fuck. Alright, um, they in the Sagittarius energy. They're in their um, making moves energy. I'm making moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm making moves. Uh, yeah, they're making moves on somebody. And they're making shady moves at that, Virgo. Um, they're shady as fuck. They could be down low, doing stuff on a down low. Got secrets, shady energy. Um, doing stuff that if you heard about it, you'd be like, wow. Okay? If you heard about what they were doing, you'd be like, wow. Okay. Ooh. Oh. energy vampire and magic involved now see i'm out i love you at the bottom they want to say they love you virgo libra energy take action on these secrets karmic cycle in taurus yeah they went back to a karmic <laughs> 
they went back to a car. Look. And right after tourist was a motherfucking narcissist card. I'm about to flip the table, y'all. I'm about to flip the table. Right, you saw it right after tourist was a motherfucking narcissist. So I blah blah blah. Okay. Blah 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 blah. This could be a Taurus you're dealing with, Libra energy. Um Air sign energy, Gemini, Gemini energy. It's giving me like Gemini Taurus Cusper. Um, it's also giving me water energy with all these cups and they feeling Scorpio energy, Cancer energy. Um, but this person is an, is an energy vampire. Um, and there was magic involved there. They're either doing their trying to manipulate you, Virgo. If this person is um, not spiritual, you don't think they do anything with magic. Somebody around them can be. Um, but they're trying to manipulate you in some type of way. This is an attack on you um, in some type of way here. And the energy vampire. I don't know why I picked up this card. And I got, you thought I was feeling you? You thought I was feeling you? Anyways. <laughs> um, not on that, Virgo. It's the energy vampire. That's why they can't keep their concentration off of you. Um, that's why they can't stop thinking of you. That's why they got to go and get um, some sticky, icky, thicky from old Vicky down the street. Um, oh, Minnie down the street. Minnie Benny. Um, Boppity Boop Bop. I don't know her name. Uh, Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. I'm telling you, it's some some ghetto let me let me not but it's some ghetto has stupid name so i'm real stupid too oh my gosh anyways um this this is why they had to go back to their ex to get more energy because they they thrive off of feminine energy to make them feel masculine they thrive off of a, a feminine energy submitting to them sucking their dick to make them feel masculine all right they thrive off of getting something from somebody or they don't feel right okay so yeah um you thought i was feeling you ba -ba -da -da -ba. anyways that's what i got here for the virgos this person thinking about you while they doing other shit but their concentration is on you they may be kissing sucking and hugging and fucking on whoever but look at their concentration uh back on the memories that they have with you trying to get over this shit trying to get out of their feelings virgo look at that right those two cards came out and we got a fair and then the discrimination uh, fair and discrimination they feel like you discriminize your discrimination towards them you discriminize them in some type of way put them in a category so now they have an affairs <laughs> oh you think of a dog i'm gonna be a dog type of energy so let them be a dog let them be for the streets like i hit for the virgos don't don't let this sweat your energy uh you know i'm very grateful and thankful for everybody watching peace